My name is uh, Joanna Yi. I am a pediatric oncologist at Baylor College of Medicine and Texas Children's Hospital. And I'm delighted to be able to present our trial, TASNI, which is Tazimetastat plus nivolumab and ipilimumab. It is a phase one, two trial for children with relapsed refractory or no evidence of disease rhabdoid tumors. It is abstract number TPS10077, and it is an ongoing trial in progress. This trial is open to children with rhabdoid tumors with specifically smark b one loss or smark a 4 loss by immunohistochemistry or by molecular confirmation that have completed upfront chemotherapy. They can have no evidence of disease, they can have relapsed disease, or they can have refractory disease after completion of upfront therapy. The trial is opened at multiple centers throughout the United States, currently open at Dana-Farber, and it will be open at other centers as well, including Texas Children's, uh, which is my home institution. The trial is divided into two parts. The first part is um, assessing two different dose levels for our patients, which we have subdivided into stratum A, patients with intracranial or ATRT rhabdoid tumors, and then stratum B is the extracranial uh, non-ATRT patients, both groups of which have smark b one or smark a 4 loss. After we complete the dose escalation levels, each uh, part one substratum has two dose levels, starting the level one, and then hopefully we can dose escalate to level two. Then we will open to part two, which we are subdividing based on your disease status if you have relapse disease, which would be the substratum two of each stratum. If you have refractory disease, which is the substratum one of each disease stratum, or if you have no evidence of disease, which would be the substratum three. Our study is powered to look at, um, in part one, what is the maximal tolerated dose and the safety and tolerability and the pediatric recommended phase two of tazimetastat plus nivolumab, ipilimumab. And then the part two portion is assignments two-stage design specifically for stratum A1, the refractory group. If we have enough patients who respond, then we will open up to the second portion of 22 patients and then the A2 portion as well. All of the other substratum will be descriptively described for how they respond. There's a lot of different biomarkers we've incorporated in this trial, including looking at circulating tumor DNA, looking at immunohistochemical stainings mm -hmm. and cytokine panels and immune um, cell profiling throughout the study to be able to really understand when we give checkpoint inhibitors in these pediatric patients, which based on previous recent publications, despite having a very quiet genome, these patients have a lot of immune infiltration into their tumor, suggesting that this combination hopefully will be effective. And tazimetastat is known to, as, an a, as the um, AZH2 inhibitor, alter the immune environment as well. And so we're really interested in looking at the immune studies as well. We hope to uh, be able to accrue many patients quickly. So if you know of any patients, please reach out to myself, Dr. Susan Chi. We are the co-chairs of the study and she is based out of Dana-Farber.